<clears throat> well, good evening, everyone. It is Chris, and we are not in my car. How about that? Um, welcome to Friday Evening Compline Prayer. It is Friday, the 14th of August. Uh, this is Compline Prayer on behalf of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge, Maryland. We offer Compline Prayer Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m., and we also offer a morning prayer service Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. So lots of opportunities for you to check in. <clears throat> we will begin on page 127 for those of you who have a Book of Common Prayer. If you do not, please feel free, if you'd like to follow along, to go to bcponline.org. And in the table of contents, you'd find Daily Office. And within the Daily Office, uh, you'd look for Compline. It is a short prayer service, so I hope you'll stay with us. It's only about 10 or 12 minutes long. You don't need to follow along at all. It's really just a very nice way to bring your day, and in this case, your week, to a close with meditation and reflection. So that having been said, let's take a moment, and then we will begin on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening will be Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word for this evening, found on the bottom of page 131, comes from the Gospel of Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, 
Your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I welcome your prayers of intercession. Feel free to speak those aloud in your home or silently in your heart directly to the Lord. If we can be praying with you, please feel free to type your prayers into the chat box. Today, I'd like to offer prayers for all those who, prayers of thanksgiving for all those who have recovered from the coronavirus. Uh, I want to pray especially for my friend Sharice, who was sick and hospitalized and is now home. Um, I'm very relieved for her and for her family. Um, I'd like to pray my own nephew and his wife are both well and on the mend and I'm grateful for that and for the many friends and, and those that I do not know who have hit healing. I want to pray for all those who are continuing to persevere in spite of the enormous challenges that we have been handed this year. For those who fight for the rights and the well-being of others and for those who um, are just managing to get up every day and make a contribution. Uh, for each and every one of you, I give you thanks. And as we come into this weekend, this time of renewal, uh, let us offer a prayer for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, who divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As I like to end each week, and, and it's become a tradition, I find the words of the prayer attributed to St. Francis to be especially uh, on point. So let us once again say the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Gracious God, we offer all of these prayers to you this evening, those which we have spoken aloud and those which we carry in our hearts and are known only to you. We ask you to watch over all of us this evening. Help us each to have a restful night and to put the cares of our day behind us that we may come into the new day with hope and rejuvenation and energy to face the challenges that may come ahead. We especially pray this evening, Lord, that you watch over all of your children that are without a place to sleep tonight, all who are struggling with things that we may not know, all who are in want of work or who are in poor health or who are living with fear, anxiety, hopelessness, depression. Be with them, Lord, be a comfort to them. Let them feel your loving hand in theirs and help those of us who are in a somewhat stronger place find the way to those individuals to take over and hold their hand for you. Let us come together and heal the divisions which lay between us. Help us come together as one people living into the example set for us by your son, Christ. Give us the strength to turn to tomorrow with hope and a belief in a better day. These prayers we offer before you this evening in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us continue on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I have to comment on Vicky's comment about the background music. I'm sorry if that was distracting for anyone. Clearly, I am still at my job, and I'm in my waiting room. And then the music before this song was much softer, and I didn't know it was still playing. And by the time it came on, it was a little awkward to turn it off. So I hope that was not terrible for you. Um, it just is what it is. Welcome to Compline Prayer. <laughs> we offered a little meditative music for you. I'd love to play that off as though it was deliberate, but it was not. At any rate, thank you again for joining us. Uh, we will have Sunday service at 10 a.m. via Zoom. Details for that can be found on the Trinity Episcopal Church of Elkridge, Maryland's Facebook page if you'd like more information. Uh, the, all of our services are posted to our YouTube channel. That's Trinity Church Elkridge. Uh, we will be back Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. with Mother Ann and Deacon Frank and a morning prayer service, and 8.30 p.m. Monday through Friday with myself and Bre Brother Les Roberts for this Compline prayer service. I thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, restful, and blessed weekend. Good night.